It's Brian Hebelin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy. I'm going to talk about bad breath or halitosis. So, you know, everybody has some bad breath from time to time. But one of the common things that we see is as otolaryngologists that can be a source of bad breath is tonsil stones. So in the tonsils, we have these crevices or crypts. And food particles that we eat can get pushed into those crevices and crypts. When they're there, it sort of rots in the tonsil. It can cause some sore throats, but sometimes it doesn't cause sore throats at all. It just causes a bad smell and a bad taste. And so um, some people are successful in picking or cleaning those tonsils out. And I've done another video on tonsil stones in the past, uh, but certainly they can be a source for, of halitosis. We can also see some bad breath related to bacteria that lies along the tongue. And so the tongue is a place where lots of oral bacteria live and sometimes people can use a tongue scraper successfully to help de decrease the amount of bacteria that we have on our tongue and can improve the halitosis. Now, usually the bacteria causing, um, or the smell causing bacteria is on the very back of the tongue, so some people with a pretty sensitive gag reflex are, are unsuccessful at doing that, but that's something you can try. So you can either buy a tongue scraper, you can even use a spoon and just turn the spoon upside down and use that to scrape the back part of your tongue. You can brush it with your toothbrush, which helps a little bit. And a lot of the toothbrushes now have something on the back of the, br of the bristle side or on the opposite of the bristle side that can help kind of clean the tongue. Oral care and dental care is obviously very important for, or for um, halitosis. So flossing can help them by removing some of the particles between the teeth that can cause bad breath. And then generally just bacteria that lives along the teeth and along the gums is a huge source of halitosis. So good oral care and seeing your dentist regularly and getting cleans there can help as well. So as ear, nose, and throat doctors, we're kind of more involved with the, the tonsil stones. Uh, some people may feel that there's drainage coming from their sinuses that can cause bad breath, although that's not a major source of things most of the time. Um, but tonsil stones and then that uh, bacteria along the tongue can be a major source. So if you have any of those issues, we're happy to take care of things as we can here at uh, Lexington ENT and Allergy. Thank you.